AI. AI. AIs. AI. 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 Rolling out AI without the right roles is like building a Formula One car and forgetting the pit crew. You've got the tech, you've got the ambition, but without the right people, that strategy isn't going anywhere. Welcome back. Let me start with what is hands down the hardest question I get right now. What roles do we actually need for AI? The truth? It's tricky to quantify, especially with how fast the AI landscape is changing. Every week there's a new tool, a new trend, a new LinkedIn job title. But here's the good news. I'm gonna try and help you out today by solving this. The bell curve is normalizing, we're past the hype spike, and what's emerging now is a set of roles that are consistently delivering value on the ground. And that's what we're here to talk about in this video. I'll cover why traditional AI teams are broken, the five new roles you must hire or upskill for, and how we're helping clients build AI dream teams that actually ship results. Let's drive in. Most AI teams were built for model development, not productionization, not experimentation, not business adoption. So here's what we see. There's too much research, not enough results. There's too much tech, not enough translation. And there's too many titles, not enough orchestration. Let me show you what the best teams are doing differently. Take a look at this chart. It's not just data scientists and engineers anymore. Here are five roles we're seeing make all the difference on the ground. An AI product manager, not just managing sprints, they're managing outcomes. They sit between tech and business and ask the right questions. What's the user's need and how do we solve it with AI? It helps if they are technical. Prompt and machine learning engineers. Still think prompting is just typing better questions? No. They engineer interfaces to foundation models with structure, logic, and reusability. The difference? Two to five fold better outputs, less hallucination, way more ROI, key to build effective models. The AI ethicist, compliance, bias, guardrails. Although I say don't start your AI journey with this role, as you scale, this role is no longer optional, especially in regulated industries. A DNA or AI translator, think of them as the bridge between your CFO and your LLM. They speak numbers and neural nets, and they're the reason your exec team finally gets it. And the AI architect, this one's critical. They're not just picking models, they're designing the whole system. Data pipelines, RAG systems, retrieval, security, the real builders and integrators behind the scenes. The Gartner model shown just there does not work without them. Here's how you can help clients make this shift. Step one, role mapping. Map your current team against delivery needs. Do you have the right skills to go from use case to MVP? Step two, org design for AI. Define how AI fits into your squads, value streams, and OKRs. Hint, it's not a center of excellence on an island. In some cases, here's an example of where I've done it. I've embedded these roles directly into platforms like SAP success factors. So HR, transformation, and leadership were all able to track capability gaps, LND pathways, and accountability across the whole business. It's not just the headcount conversion, it was a capability build. So you've done role mapping, you've done all design, and your last step is pilot with purpose. Give the right roles space to test, break things and prove value fast. Top tip, although everyone thinks consultancies are dying, they're not. Find fast and nimble ones that can scale up and down as you need, like we do here at SNS, little plug. <laughs> but AI isn't a tool, it's a capability, and capabilities need people. You wouldn't launch a new product without a PM, you wouldn't move to cloud without an architect, so don't roll out an AI team which is stuck in 2020. If you want a full AI org map template and a role guide, DM me and I'll send it over. And if you want to know how we integrate these roles into systems like success factors, again, drop me a message. If this was helpful, like, share your team and follow for more practical AI lessons from the field. So there's my go at trying to really define what those key roles are, which are defining careers in the next three to five years. Take it away. Chat to your friends, colleagues in your next meetings about these roles. I bet some of you are going to challenge or feel a bit precious about the current roles you're doing. But these are what I have seen working day in, day out as the priority for making AI work in businesses. And what I think in the next three to five years will be those key roles in this AI space. I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.